students. Today we're going to learn how to use in, on, and at. In, on, and at are prepositions of time. We use these words to describe when something is happening. So for example, in is used with months of the year. We would say his birthday is in June. Here we are describing that his birthday will happen at this time, in June. We also use in with years. So we would say, he studied here in 2012. With seasons, we would say, they play basketball in spring. Now let's look at some other forms when we use in. Now we also use in with expressions the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. We would say, she has class in the morning. We come in the afternoon. He listens to the radio in the evening. And the last way we use the word in is with zones. So we would say, we live in zone three. Now let's look at the word on. Now the preposition of time, on, is used in the following expressions. With days of the week, so we would say, my birthday is on Tuesday this year. With exact dates, so we would say, he is coming on the 15th of May. With the expression, on time, so my teacher is always on time. This means that they get there at the exact hour, or exact time they are supposed to meet, on time. And we also use on to talk about street or avenue. So we would say, we live on 12th street. Now let's look at the final preposition, at. So at is used with hours of the day. So we would say, our class begins at... 410. With the expressions night, noon, and midnight, we also use at. We would say, he reads the newspaper at night. He watches TV at noon. They come at midnight. And the last way we can use the word at is with full addresses. So we would say, we live at 12th Street, 352, Zone 3. Okay, thank you for listening. These were the prepositions of time.